Because he said, a place where those who hate ignorance may strive to know, where those who perceive truth may strive to make others see. G'day, g'day. How are we, ladies and gentlemen? Today I'd like to talk about the three cards that the banks hold to their chest. And um, this will be a quick talk, won't be very, very long. The three cards the banks hold to their chest. And where mathematically, mathematically perfected economy show, proves this, proves the cards are there. Now two of these cards, people evade talking about and it's a, a lot of these pretenders out there and these 11th hour pretenders and all these all these people out there that, that proclaim some solution um, and giving you some hope are not showing you the two cards that the banks hold to their chest they're really three cards they, they, they flaunt that third card in front of you so I'm about to show you the three cards. Card number one. See that card? See that card? That's right. You guys are the true creditors. Now this second card I'm going to throw at you is, is one card no one is showing you absolutely no one and said mathematically perfected economy and this next card no one will show to you because they're always they're promoting they're advocating the banks and they're wishing to preserve the banks that rob us so they will never can come to the conclusion and showing you this card and so here's the card that no one else will show you except mathematically perfected economy and this is the one that we can prove categorically. That's right, you create money. Now, none of these other 11th hour pretenders that are pushing all these solutions won't tell you about money creation simply because they're advocating or promoting the banking system in one way. They want to preserve the bank. They want to put you put an idea in your head the bank can save you. The bank will not save you. The bank will screw you and take that right away from you. Money creation. Your, your right to issue your own promissory obligation to someone that that gives up property. Now sure all these 11th hour pretenders show you this card. But that will be the last card to go down. This card and this card have to come down before this card. Okay guys? An only mathematically perfected economy can do that and we have to unite on mathematically perfected economy. We can't throw the thief card out first because we have to prove that they're a thief. So we have to, the, 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 we give up consideration, we give up consideration of value and by issuing our own promissory obligation essentially creating money and the true creditor gives up property. And we've got to establish that first in our defence before we can establish that the bank's the thief. And this is what math mathematically perfected economy does and ultimately will be used in, 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 in any court of law and def, uh, um, it, if a bank decides to defend themselves. Um, that's, if, of course, if we can unite on mathematically perfected economy. If we can't unite on mathematically perfected economy, well, what can I say? You, we're, all, we're going to ultimately be screwed. We're going to be enslaved to some sort of a banking system, some bank, in the end, and um, 
You know, if we can't unite, all these protests would be in vain if we can't unite a mathematically affected economy. So, you know, I'm just here to show the, the two cards and, um, and those cards will be the last three cards that come down in order and uh, before we can actually bring back heaven to earth. Thanks again, guys. Stay safe. Hear my thunder roar! Our problems are man-made, therefore they can be solved by man, and man can be as big as he wants. No problem of human destiny is beyond human beings. Man's reason and spirit have often solved the seemingly unsolvable.